Hello everyone and welcome to the fixme.it channel again. In today's video I'll show you how to remove a virus on a complete remote computer in Windows safe mode. First of all, why safe mode? There's a lot of unsophisticated malware that can easily be detected and deleted from inside the Windows system. However, if an antivirus program fails to find a threat when the user's computer is by all means infected, then it becomes obvious that the problem is more complex and rooted much deeper. And that's when booting into safe mode can be useful, as it disables most of the processes and programs running in normal mode, including malware. From Windows safe mode, you can easily scan and remove advanced viruses that can effectively hide in normal mode. In order to perform a virus scan, first you need to connect the remote client using fixme.it. Let's start a new session and enter the unique client ID provided by the client. Upon receiving the client's consent and establishing the connection to their computer, you can go ahead and boot the machine into safe mode using the following button. You can't see or manage the client's desktop at this point, so you'll just have to wait for a bit. When the reboot is complete, the expert regains control over the remote desktop. Select the remote control option on your expert interface and you can now see and manage the client's desktop again. Now, log into the system with the user's credentials. Upon entering the system, you'll need to send an antivirus program or utility of your choice to the client. To do that, you can take advantage of the drag and drop file feature available in fixme.it. It lets you drag the file from your desktop onto the remote control window, which automatically triggers the file transfer procedure. As soon as the transfer is complete, the corresponding shortcut will appear on the client's desktop. You can launch the anti-malware program. First, let's accept all the licensing terms and click continue, and then start scanning. Well, the scanning procedure is finished and here's a threat that must be removed. Choose the neutralize option and the removal procedure will start right away. After that, you'll receive a notification saying that the malware has been successfully neutralized. Now you can get back to the expert interface and boot the client's machine into normal mode. The remote control window will automatically close, so you will lose connection to the client's desktop for a short period of time. When the reboot is finished, you will regain control over the client's desktop. Let's run the remote desktop control function to check if everything's okay. Log into Windows with the user's credentials once again, and as we can see, the virus has been successfully removed from the remote client's computer. The antivirus that we installed on the client's machine can further be used in the normal mode. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.